I told you guys I was gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it. I feel like I'm a professional skier at this point, so let's go ahead and take it on. I'm gonna make my way down this hill as fast as I can in hopes that I can finally obtain a trade stone and make it in under 24 hours because that's what the guy was telling me. And with that, guys, I believe we have made it. Our time was 13 seconds, and there we have it. Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we skied around here, we took on the gym, and now we've gone ahead and obtained the trade stone. Now, this is something that I've been wanting to obtain for a while, as I told you guys, and I finally was able to make it down the hill in under 15 seconds. So there we have it, guys. We have gone ahead and obtained the trade stone. Now that we have the trade stone, we are ready to make our way out of this town. So let's go ahead and turn in our skis and get out of here. Once again, thank you guys for all your tips and your comments that you guys left me. They're much appreciated. Make sure you guys give this video a like. It really helps the series. And let's go ahead and take a little ride back down the hill. It's always fun getting to ride these little gondolas. Every time I see them, it actually makes me want to go skiing. Since I've never actually done it before. And I guess that kind of shows in my performance going down that hill. But now that we have the trade stone, guys, we can actually use it on one of our Pokemon. And that is Cranky. So today we are going to evolve Cranky. And this is something that I know a lot of us have been waiting for. And I'm super excited for it. So for those of you guys that have Pokemon that you need to trade in order to evolve make sure you guys get yourselves trade stone because it makes it that much easier and there we have it guys oh my goodness that looks so awesome and with that guys congratulations our cranky evolved into electivire and with that we have another pokemon that is now fully evolved on our team so very awesome having cranky fully evolved into an electivire is really awesome i actually don't think i've ever used an electivire so it's nice to see i love when i get the chance to use pokemon that i've never really had the chance to use before because it makes it so much more fun for me all right guys with that let's go ahead and explore a little bit around we're pretty much done here in north coast town for now i believe we can come back later probably run around here you know if you guys ever need to use the name raider those sorts of things but for now we're gonna make our way through the blizzard slopes so let's go ahead and take on our first battle I gotta tell you guys, Electivire looks really, really cool in the battles. That's awesome. Whenever we get a Pokemon that just looks like super strong, it's so fun to use them because it just feels like you're intimidating the crap out of the trainers you're going up against. I mean, if you saw an Electivire, tell me you wouldn't be intimidated by that thing. It's this huge electric monster yeti looking thing and i believe we're gonna have another battle so let me go ahead and actually put infernape up in front you know what uh i don't know i think we'll be good let's take this guy on All right, let's keep on moving. We're going to have another guy coming up. So I guess there's a lot of battles on our way to where we're supposed to get to. So let me go ahead and actually switch our Pokemon up a little bit this time. I guess Gilligan can use some action. So let's take this person on.
All right, there we have it. Now, I believe that's about it. I don't even know how you're supposed to get those Pokeballs, but it looks like we made it to a lake. And now, if you guys remember, we actually obtained the HM for Surf last time, HM03. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach this to Gilligan. Gilligan's the only one that can learn it, clearly. I would be kind of surprised if, like, Lanky ended up learning Surf. You know, that would be one of, like, the most random things. If, like, a fire type could learn Surf and could just, like, surf around and shoot flamethrowers out of it. It would be ridiculous. With that, let's go ahead and surf though it looks like we're gonna make our way into a cave though this is actually pretty cool let's make our way inside of the icicle tunnel though i wasn't even sure where this route was gonna take us i was kind of just going into it and hoping that we were headed in the right direction and it looks like we are it looks like there's gonna be a couple more battles coming up though let's see oh yeah we totally don't have a fire move on daenerys yet so hopefully we'll be finding an hm or a tm i mean for daenerys to learn maybe flamethrower soon that would be really cool i could definitely use that so hopefully we'll be be finding that very soon i'm gonna go ahead and just heal up our pokemon though i want to make sure you know we get the, everybody ready for this cave if it is gonna be that difficult and so far it's been so good so let's go ahead and take this guy on Having a strong fire type makes this route so much easier. I love seeing ice routes whenever we have a fire type. It just makes me feel so good because I know we're going to get so much good XP out of it. What is this? We found a never melt ice, so there we have it. If you guys want to power up some of your ice type moves, it gives it right to you. That's actually a simple one to do, and we're going to have another battle. That's funny. I like how that trainer's like, how is it snowing inside of a cave? Honestly, though, how is it snowing inside of a cave? That doesn't make any sense. I guess that's just some Pokemon logic for you. Probably gonna have to battle this guy, though. Okay, so there we have it. Hopefully, yes, we have made it to the exit. And with that, guys, we have arrived in Cape Azure. Cape Azure, really? Rodri, I thought you might be coming this way. I've heard that Tim Fusion might be on the move, and I think I have an idea where. They might be heading. Near Chogo Town is the Temporal Tower, which houses ancient ruins from the past. I'm going to keep an eye out on that tower. Sigh. Sorry, Rodri, I'm just nervous about something important happening soon. Try to keep focused on getting badges, and I'll contact you if something comes up. Once you get the Blaze Badge, fly to Choco Town and surf to the east. Be seeing you. All right, well, thank you. Oh, some girl with green hair has said she was looking for you. She ran off to the Tuna Safari Zone to the south of here. Take care. Oh, so a girl with green hair is looking for us. We've also just been told that we will be getting the HM for Fly very soon. And I'm actually super pumped for that. You know, if we could get that, the sooner the better. This is the performance hall. So I'm guessing there's going to be like little contests there. Now, that's not something I want to go down into. So I'm just going to go ahead and look around here. I always want to explore a little bit because I feel oh, TM30 Shadow Ball. That is actually awesome. The fact that it just kind of gives it to you there. So we'll definitely be teaching that to one of our Pokemon. If you guys have any suggestions, on who let me know you know i always take all your guys suggestions it means so much to me when i get the chance to read all your comments and the tips you guys give me it really is fantastic hey nurse joy how's it going did you see that uh my electivire evolved kind of how my fire inside of me is evolving for you nurse joy you know what i'm saying nope nothing nothing nurse joy nothing let's go ahead and get out of here guys you know i don't even know what to do to impress nurse joy i'm gonna go ahead and stock up on a couple things but as i was saying to you guys you know there's just so much to do here and it i really appreciate whenever you guys leave me your tips and your comments on you know what i should do or you know where we should go it's really fun and it makes it so much more fun for me it just it's such a blast being able to play with friends and it's something that i really really appreciate guys you guys don't know how much it really 
means to me to be able to share, you know, my goofy stories with you guys or go through a different region or adventure. It's so much fun and it means so much to me. So I really do care about you guys and I really appreciate it. You guys have been fantastic throughout this adventure and I'm just so happy that, you know, this is just the beginning of it too. We have so much to do here in this donut region that who knows where the heck this adventure is going to lead. So I'm just going to go ahead and look around here a little bit. I just want to make sure that we don't miss out on anything too important because once in a while, you know, I might run over something that I don't want to. So this looks like it's the in the low price of a million polka dollars a night. Yeah, let me go ahead and book a room right now when we have like 17 thousand poke dollars we have like no poke dollars at this moment so this looks like it's gonna be cycling road but as you guys know we don't have a bike yet so it's not something that we can head down so yeah we are definitely gonna have to find a bike somewhere i guess we can go look in the safari zone because that's what blake told us i suppose the girl with the green hair is gonna be shell so that's what we're gonna have to go and find guys let's go look for shell then and let's hope that uh she'll give us something special to continue from here this guy will actually give you a prize if you catch 20 Pokemon in the Safari Zone. I'm not sure what that prize will be, but maybe it'll be something good. Who knows? All right, guys, let's go ahead and make our way inside of the Safari Zone then. Hopefully, we'll be able to just, you know, head right inside, take on anybody that's coming at us. I'm not too sure what this Safari Zone is about. I guess it's kind of just throwing you into it, and it's kind of making us do it. Usually, I just skip over the Safari Zones, but for once, it looks like we're gonna have to make our way inside. We need a Poke Snack case. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go back to the Cape Azor Performance Hall then. I actually need to find a case to make our way inside of here. That's kind of crazy. You know what I've been thinking a lot about though, guys? Since I slightly mentioned it to you guys yesterday, I talked about, you know, if you had to have a type of Pokemon where it matched your personality, and I don't know why, but I was like up late at night thinking about it yesterday, and I started thinking about it where there are moments in life where I just love being just, you know, super out there and just energetic and having fun, but there are also moments when I like just kind of like sitting back and staying in and just like, you know, having some me time. And I feel like I know, that's who I am. So I started thinking about it. I'm like, you know, it's kind of funny because if I was a Pokemon, I think I'd be like an ice slash fire type, which I know sounds kind of ridiculous, but I feel like that's who I am because I really, I feel like that's how everyone is, you know, in a way. Sometimes you just like having your own time and just hanging out by yourself and doing your own thing, you know, maybe reading a book or playing your 3DS, something of that sort. But then sometimes, you know, we all like to be, you know, around people and, you know, energetic and, and outgoing and those sorts of things. So it was just something that kind of like popped into my mind. I was like, that's a funny thing, how if you look at different Pokemon types, you know, you can tell a little bit about them, you know, and it's it's really awesome that it's kind of like their own little personality in a way, you know, their, their type kind of affects them, and it's kind of funny to think about because we're just like that too, you know, we all have different personalities and different traits, and it's kind of funny that, you know, we can have these similar parallels. I think I've just been seeing a lot of parallels in this game with, you know, the other universe, which is our Earth, and then this universe here in the Donut region, and it gets you thinking good about a lot of stuff, you know? And, uh, oh, look, here's Shell. Well, crap, no point going on. Ah, don't do that, Rodri. I guess that blue-haired guy gave you the message. How about we battle again? Hey, I'm all up for a battle. So here we go, guys. Rodri versus Shell. So let's go ahead and take on Shell, then. And let's see how much stronger she's actually got. All right, she's gonna open up with a Raichu. Oh, my goodness, level 33. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. That's not even fair. I feel so bad for Shell. She needs to train up her Pokemon a little bit. I don't know what it is. You, the beginning of this game started off really, really difficult with that big level gap from the first gym to the second gym. And since then, it's kind of stagnated and it's kind of just stayed the same. I'm wondering if by the next gym, you know, it'll, they'll actually reach the 40s, which I'm hoping that they will because our Pokemon are actually really, really well trained right now. I didn't even try to train them this much. We've just had so many battles and so many trainer battles that we've kind of just been, you know, a little bit higher on the XP chart at this point. I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Lanky though. You know what? Lanky should be able to finish these Pokemon off. So let's go ahead and see if we can just take down Shell and then we'll be on our merry way out of here you know we'll go ahead and hopefully make our way down the cycling road who knows we'll, we'll figure this out oh my goodness this is just the brelin's level 31 okay so i'm not too sure what shell's all about you know i've been thinking about that too you know we have blake who's apparently a member of the elite four we have shell who is sort of a rival but not really because we kind of like counter shell really hard and then we have percy 
who's kind of like us, who's always seems to be one step ahead. So there's just a lot going on here in the story of Pokemon Glazed, and it's almost a little bit of like a mystery that I'm slowly starting to piece together, and it, that makes it so much more fun. I'm slowly starting to like bring these little pieces together of what this story's gonna be about, because I feel like we haven't even you know, gone into what the main story is about. We've heard rumors of there being, you know, things having to do with Mew, having to do with Team Fusion, but we haven't really explored much into it yet. So hopefully we'll start finding out more about this region very soon, because this really has been a very mysterious region, if you guys just think about it. With that though, guys, it looks like we have gone ahead and uh, took down Shell. So that was actually quite easy. I thought it was going to be a little bit more difficult, but we have gone ahead and done it. So good for us. With that, we got ourselves the Dart Bike. So very cool, guys. The Dart Bike will definitely be helping us out. And I am all aboard of that. You know, if we can get the Dart Bike, I am all cool with that. So it looks like there's some rocks here that are breakable. But I'm not sure what exactly these rocks are doing here. I think this is pretty much just a dead end. I don't think there's much left to do here. But that's okay. I suppose, you know, you don't really need that much stuff here. So with that, guys, it looks like we might be done here in the Safari Zone. I don't think there's going to be much left for us to do in this place. So let's go ahead and keep on going then. And it looks like this is going to be about it, guys. There's not much left for us to do in the Safari Zone. So let's go ahead and make our way out of here here then i'm kind of excited to get out of here oh wait there are also a couple pokeballs that i could pick up so i guess there are still a couple things that we could look into so i'm going to try to get these pokeballs there there seems to be one up there and i want to make sure that we don't miss out on some special tms or hms because you never know a dano really it's kind of funny to see a dano here i thought all of the uh, pseudo legendaries were gonna be at that patch where the professor led us into but i guess you know here in this cave they're gonna have a bunch more things to do as well with that though we found a max revive and let's keep on going though because i believe there's going to be one more item here that we need to find and that's what i'm going to be going after so let me go ahead and just run up here it's kind of funny that we surf on a gold dean by the way i keep seeing that and i'm just like when the heck did we catch a gold dean I, I really don't know why it's a gold dean normally it's like a shadow of a lapras or something but for some reason here we're just going to be riding on the backs of a gold dean a wobbuffet what the heck Okay, that's kind of funny to see. Let's keep on going, though. And I believe we're really close to where we actually want to be. Hopefully, it'll be a really good TM or something. You know, it could magically be Flamethrower, and I'd be feeling super happy about it. Because, hey, who wouldn't want Flamethrower? You know, at this point in the game, I would really, really love that. So, if you guys know where the heck Flamethrower is, let me know. TM05 Roar. Ah, at least we found a TM. I suppose it's better than nothing to go ahead and find that. Let's go ahead and get out of here, then, guys. I'm not too sure how to actually get out of this place, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, figure this out. I'm gonna go ahead and figure this out I think we just need to talk to the guard. So let me just go ahead and talk to him I don't really know how else we get out of here. Good luck. If you need anything, don't hesitate to tell me. I'll figure this out You know sometimes guys I begin to think that it might be our character that isn't blonde and that it might be me because all I had to do was hit start and get out of there. That was it. But sometimes I have to make things a little bit more difficult on us. So with that, guys, we are done in the safari zone for today. And we have obtained the dart bike. So very cool. We'll be able to make our way down cycling road next time. And I'm actually really excited for that. So we have done quite a bit today, guys. We actually did knock out a lot. So next time we will continue from this point, make our way through cycling road. So if you guys have any tips on on what's coming up let me know make sure you guys give this video a like thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode goodbye